Can I just tell you the truth about Jesus that nobody's ever told you? Can I just lay it out there? I've got plenty of videos explaining all these things in detail, but for one video, I just want to, in a nutshell, lay out the truth of life, Jesus, the Bible, today, everything. Jesus was real. Jesus was great. Christianity was real. Christianity was great. The Bible, the premise of the Bible was real. It was great. But all of it already happened. Everything in the Bible already happened. Jesus already returned. The rapture already took place. It all happened in the first century. That generation didn't pass until all things were fulfilled. Jesus Christ came to do a short work on the earth, like it said in Romans 9:28, and then he delivered everything back to the Father. The marriage supper came. The door was shut. That temple was destroyed. The Roman armies came. They trampled the city underfoot for 42 months. Those were the days of vengeance whenever all things written were fulfilled. The Jews fell by the edge of the sword. They were led away captive. Not one stone was left upon another. The believers were waiting under the altar as they died for Jesus to return and destroy the man of sin that sat in the temple back then. He came and sat in the temple. And they were waiting under the altar because once that temple was destroyed with the brightness of Jesus' coming and the word of his mouth, they went up into New Jerusalem. Whenever old Jerusalem was destroyed, they went into New Jerusalem. And the believers have been in a heavenly city, not a city on earth. Jesus said, if anybody said Jesus was back on earth, do not believe them, for they were false Christs, and the kingdom of heaven came without observation. So why are people trying to observe it? We live in the ages to come. He told them that their promise was that in the ages to come, they would have eternal life. They have been in heaven ever since old Jerusalem was destroyed. They've been in new Jerusalem for 1,953 years since the temple was destroyed. Once the tabernacle was destroyed, then the way into the holiest of all was made manifest. And that's where they went. That's why they were waiting under the altar. So Jesus finished his work. The marriage supper came. The door was shut. And once that happened, the Lord God omnipotent began to reign. We should be worshiping God today because Jesus ended sin, Satan, and the grave. Now we have access to God. God couldn't hear sinners, but now nobody's a sinner. We don't have the Holy Spirit that they had that kept them from sin. That's why there are 45,000 denominations today that all claim to have the Holy Spirit and they all believe something different. They're all trying to follow this Jesus, but Jesus received a new name, Revelation 3.12. He finished his work. Nobody knows his name. After Jesus finished his work, after everything in the Bible happened, after that temple was destroyed, wicked men, the left behind, the people who stood outside the door and knocked and said, open to us, and he said, I never knew you. He never knew you whenever his name was Jesus. Now they're calling him master and can't get in the door. They said, oh my God, he was the Messiah. He was the Messiah. And then they tried to become Christians after the fact, which was a lie. They should have been going to the Father, because now the Father is the door. We're no longer in Adam. Jesus was the last Adam. He finished all that. We have access to God today because we're not sinners anymore. He doesn't care about our flesh. He doesn't care about this. That's why there's no grave. We see a light whenever we die. People did not see a light before 70 AD. They were sleeping in their graves. But once Jesus returned, delivered everything back to the Father, ended sin, now whenever we die, we don't sleep in a grave. We can go straight into that light. We can go straight to God. We have to not judge each other's flesh today. We have to be honest to make it to heaven. Not judge people for what they eat, drink, wear, who they sleep with, what they put on, what they watch. And after it was all over, wicked men took over the old name of Jesus. And they made a false religion that is the exact opposite of what true Christianity was. True Christianity was persecuted. This fake Christianity after 70 AD are the persecutors. True Christianity didn't fight with the sword. Their kingdom was not of this world. After 70 AD, fake Christianity destroyed the world through war, tyranny, and genocide. Took over the whole planet. The most powerful men that have ever lived on the planet swear on the Bible before they can rule. Christians own the kingdom of this world. They've had the most powerful armies, the most money, the biggest religion, the least persecution. They were the biggest persecutors. They've wiped out whole uh, peoples, whole races, whole nations to take over. And none of them know anything. This Holy Spirit tells them that Jesus is God. This Holy Spirit tells them he's not God. This Holy Spirit tells them to baptize in this name, baptize in that. They can't even get those things right. And scroll through TikTok. You go through a million different lives on Christianity, there's a million different beliefs on Christianity because it's not from God today. It's actually the opposite. It's done the worst in the whole world. Jesus Christ was amazing, but he finished his work. He did a short work. He appeared once in the end of the world. He came at the end of the age. The time was at hand. The time was near. He was coming quickly. All things were going to be fulfilled. That generation wouldn't pass. Some of them standing there wouldn't taste death until he returned. All of it already happened. He had the gospel of reconciliation to end sin, which brought mankind down into sin away from God. Jesus ended it, so now we have access to the Father again, and we can go into heaven to the tree of life once again. 
So yes, there's a lot of stuff coming on the world, but it is not a biblical judgment. The biblical judgment already happened. What God is judging today are Christians, Muslims, and Jews. They have all rejected Jesus Christ in one form or another. And they are going to go to war and think it's the end of the world. They think that the Mahdi and Jesus is coming, or Jesus is coming, or the Antichrist, or the Rapture, and they're all going to be wrong, or the new Messiah, because they don't believe in Jesus. And they're all going to fight over the Temple Mount. And they're going to bring a war that destroys, that's over half the world's population, well over. Believe these three religions and all believe that the end is coming. And they're going to fight and it's going to end. The judgment is not what Christians, it's the opposite of what Christians, Muslims, and Jews think. The judgment is coming on the Christians, the Muslims, and the Jews who have destroyed the world through war, tyranny, and genocide. This is just true. This is the truth of what happened. I'm not against any peoples or races or anything. I'm against these religions that they have that do evil things. Give me a follow. I've got tons of videos explaining all this, but that is the truth in a five, six-minute nutshell.